Today we're gonna make a gua bao. It is very popular now in, in this country because people see it as like a Asian style hamburger. You can even stuff with grilled chicken, fried shrimps, anything. If you don't have a bamboo steamer, you can just use the steamer that you have in your home too. It's, it's totally fine. I just, you know, wanna show off today. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Chef Bao Bao from Bao Berg Restaurant in Brooklyn. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pork bao, the classic style. So the first thing that you want to do is the dough because it's going to take a little while for it to rest. The ingredient that you need today is two cups of plain flour, dry active yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, one pinch of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder. Put all the dry mix, add one tablespoon of shortening, and in the medium speed, you're just gonna add little by little, like about one cup of milk. So you're gonna keep on mixing it until the bottom of the bowl is clean. It's already come out clean in the bottom, and you want to see that because that means all the dough, all the ingredients is already mixed properly. We just want to work it a little extra minute. You will need a little bit of flour for the dusting so it doesn't stick to your surface. Keep on the sash. So now you get all nice and smooth dough. I just gonna keep them resting for an hour at least or if you have more time you can just rest even longer and the result you will get is going to be more puffier and like you know smooth texture let me wrap this up we're gonna get the pork bellies ready make sure that you don't get the one that has too much fat because you want to have it like like a nice balance get your hot pot ready crush two cloves of garlic into it. So you wanna cook it in a medium temperature. Not, not too hot, you don't wanna burn your garlic. So after you cook your garlic until golden brown, you're just gonna add your pork skin down. And then you will add cinnamon sticks, four to five cloves of uh, star anise, bay leaf, half cup of soy sauce and about two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of sweet soy sauce, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. Yeah. Bring on with a little bit of black pepper. Just make sure that you have your pork coat with the sauce on both sides. Add the water just to cover the pork. I'm gonna cover it and let it cook medium temperature for about one hour and a half or two hours. So now I'm just gonna work with the dough that is been already resting. And you wanna get your surface ready with a little bit of extra dusting. I grew up in Thailand. I was born and raised there. I, I grew up eating bao since when I was a kid. But you know, in my hometown, I, I eating with nothing. It's just a plain bao. But when I grew up, you know, traveling around and like from this country to the other, they serve it with a different type, like, you know, the sandwich type or ashio bao that is have a stuffing inside. I love it and I think it's, it's Genius. So after you have your dough, you just want to roll it and then cut it two inches thick. Okay, so after you cut it, you just want to roll it like a ball shape. So you just want to get into the oval shape first, about six inches long. And then, you know, fold it into half. 
like this and set aside. Right after we roll it, we, we want to put this on top of the, of the parchment paper because you don't want it to stick to uh, the bamboo steamer when you steam it. You don't want uh, to put them too close to each other because later it's going to be, become puffy and you don't want them to stick together. And now we're going to steam it in the wok for about 8 to 10 minutes. I first learned how to cook when I was five years old with my grandma. Like, you know, we were just doing a home cooking and I really like to go and play in the kitchen with her and she would just let me help. That is how I learned and I grew up loving cooking. So it's been around eight minutes. Now I'm gonna check on my buns. It looks very nice, puffy, and it's, I think it's ready. So you just want to uh, make sure that they are riced so you will get nice uh, puffy and smooth texture. So now I'm gonna set this aside. Our pork is ready. It's been here for uh, almost two hours. It looks very tender. Just gonna give them a little slice, about half inches thick. So now the pork is ready. Uh, it is time for us to make a uh, sauce for it. So we're gonna use the same stock that we braised the pork before. And the saucepan. Add about one cup of the stock. And then season it more with half tablespoon of oyster sauce, half of the spoon of sweet soy sauce, and about one tablespoon and a half of light soy sauce, half tablespoon of brown sugar. <laughs> Bring it to boil, and then you're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the cornstarch until it becomes thick. The reason why I like this sauce is because it's like a classic style, also sweet and savory, which is goes so well with the fatty pork cuts that I brought today. Let me taste it. Yummy. <laughs> and then you can just put back your pork. Okay, make sure that your, your pork is coated with the sauce for, on both sides. And then you're ready to go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and do the buns. The lettuce I used today is the butter leaf. I prefer this one better because it's very light. Cut it in half. And now we have everything ready, so I'm gonna get two buns out. First thing you wanna do is to have uh, your QP mayonnaise, which is an uh, Asian type of mayonnaise. They use mirin and rice vinegar add into the ingredients. That's why I prefer this one better, because it gives a little tangy, like in you know, a sourness, and also it's lighter. Okay, and spread them, and add a little thin layer. Put the lettuce, I like green, so I will put more. And then add your pork on top of it. You can put maybe one piece or two pieces, it's up to you. I love meat, so I will put two. And then on top of it, it is optional to use this rice cracker. You know, in Asia, we call it bubu arale, give like a crunchy texture. If you don't have these, which is you can buy in the Asian market, you can just use the crushed peanuts also. So one, I'm gonna put the peanuts, and the other one, I'm gonna use this rice cracker. And for a little extra, if you love seaweed, I love, I do, you can just put this and grab it like this. So here it is. This is my pork bao. Let's see, is this gonna taste good at as it looks? Mm. Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. It is delicious. So you guys should just make this one at home as soon as possible. <laughs>